The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has funded many critical and commercially successful technologies. This is the story of one of them. To be eligible to fly as a pilot in the U.S. Air Force, a candidate must have excellent eyesight. Corrective laser eye surgery allows candidates with less than perfect eyesight the chance to serve their country. Technology developed through the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has made this possible. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Okay. Elizabeth Lamb has come to the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute at the University of California, Irvine, a leading center for eye surgery and research. I was born with great eyes and until I was about 48 I started needing reading glasses and now I'm 52 and my farsightedness is going too. Okay Beth, how are you? Good, thanks. This morning Elizabeth will undergo corrective eye surgery. So today Elizabeth is here for uh, LASIK. She's having a hyperopic treatment and we do this with two lasers. The first laser is the femtosecond laser and that's used to cut the flap in the cornea. When that flap is lifted, the cornea is reshaped with the eczema laser, and, and that's to dial her prescription into the cornea itself. Five, four, three, two, one. Treatment complete. LASIK eye surgery is the most common operation procedure in the United States. The development of this technology was made possible with funding from the Air Force SBIR STTR program. The, uh, predicate technology was uh, called a microkeratome, and it was a blade and a little device that uh, isolated the blade across the face of the cornea. A suction ring was placed on the eye, and uh, then the blade made a pass across the eye, oscillating, and cut a flap in the cornea. There were some problems with that. The cut wasn't always regular. Oftentimes, the, uh, the device would stop, and uh, so for the, the LASIK procedure to really uh, gain ground and take off as a procedure, it needed a new technology. Intralase, a startup out of the University of Michigan, had such a technology, a fem to second laser, but they needed funding to refine and improve their technology. The funding was used to increase the pulse of the laser. We went from 10 kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. What that means is that during the cut, uh, the suction ring is only on the eye for about a minute, whereas when it was slower, it was on the eye for several minutes, which, which could cause a problem for the patient. The Intralase Fem to Second Laser became available in 2001. In 2007, the Air Force, Navy, and NASA approved the surgery for flight training candidates. To date, the Fem to Second Laser has been used in over 5 million LASIK eye surgeries. She'll be able to see much better, even just right after the surgery, but she'll notice a distinct jump tomorrow. Uh, and yes, she'll be able to see without glasses by tomorrow for sure. I feel fine, I don't have any discomfort or anything. In addition to LASIK, the Fem to Second laser is finding uses in other surgical procedures. This laser uh, is used in LASIK, it's used in corneal transplants, and it's really transitioning into use in, in cataract surgery as well. I think it's very fair to say that the femtosecond laser has been one of the most important developments in ophthalmology. The Intralase technology, developed through the Air Force SBIR STTR program, has greatly improved the quality of life for millions of people. Learn more at www.afsbirstr.com.